Next, we're going to see how to insert symbols, such as this one here, images, and comments. We double-click cell C9, and uh, we can see that the insertion point flickers next to the text. This is where our symbol will be inserted. So from the Insert tab, we click Symbol, and this pops up a new window from where we can select a font, for example, Arial, and then we select the symbol of our choice. Then we click the Insert button. The symbol has been displayed where the insertion point was. Then we click Close. The Symbols window also displays the symbols we have used recently so that uh, we do not have to search for them every time. If we want to add the same symbol to the cell below, we double click on the cell, go to Insert Symbol, and uh, as you can see, the symbol we have used previously has uh, appeared in this list. All you have to do is select it and click on Insert and then Close. Our next example will be how to insert an image stored in our PC. So from the Insert tab, we click Pictures and then this device. At this point, we're going to select the storage location and as soon as we find the image, we select it and click Insert. So our image has now been displayed on the worksheet. Let me resize it to show it better. It's quite big. Yes. There. In uh, the options that appear when you click on the Insert and Pictures button, there are two more image sources. The Online Pictures option. Here you can search for images through Microsoft Bing search engine or log in to our OneDrive account and use images from there. But uh, the most interesting option is the option that allows us to use Microsoft stock images. They are divided into these categories and can be used in all Office applications. Let's choose this gentleman here. We select him and click on Insert. And there he is. Very interesting indeed. So, our next example is uh, how to insert a comment in a cell. So, we select, for example, cell E5, and from the Review tab, we click New Comment. We can now type our comment at this point where the insertion point is flickering. The name displayed in here is the name of the user of the application. As soon as we type our text, all we have to do is click anywhere on the worksheet. The comment is now displayed in the form of a little red triangle. If we hover the mouse pointer on it, we can read the comment. And if we want to delete it, we right-click on the cell and select Delete Comment. Let's undo this for a moment. If we want to change the text, we select Edit Comment. From the Home tab and the Clear command, we can delete the comments. We can click the Clear Comments option here. So, we have learned how to insert symbols and images that will help us a lot in making our sheets more elegant. We have also learned about the comments that can help us when our sheets will be used by more people. Mm -hmm.